Welcome back, this is Bob Scuba with more Let's Play Diablo 3. I'm joined as always by my barbarian, the Templar, and Leah are still with us. The scoundrel is not. Uh, when we last left off, I was at level 13. We need to go find the Khazar Staff. I've done zero level grinding. I don't think I even got anything new. I believe this is all the same thing that I had before we left. Now, I will say that... I have been doing a lot of off-screen work, uh, but that shouldn't affect this character. That's why I now have... Where's I even going to show my money? There we go. There's my money. I have a ton of money. I've been playing with my other character. Uh, my Black Mushroom is still there. As you can see, I do have uh, some better jewels there, uh, but I won't be using those probably this playthrough. I'll be trying to keep his separate from my other characters. Uh, I will say that... All of my equipment is going to be coming either from Eamon or from what I find. Let's go back to the Highlands Crossings. I refuse to use the auction house for this normal run through. I've been doing that extensively for my other playthrough, the one that I am leveling up in order to get to uh, Hell difficulty. Let's get the fortune try and move on. I did have to clear this place out before we got started. It spawned me at the start of this area. Let's try to find the Khazar Staff, and I'll try to talk a bit about the uh, the Auction House, how I feel about it, all that kind of stuff. Um, the Auction House... Oh, new lore! We found the Moon Clan! Long ago, five clans of the Umbaru tribe left the Tiganze and ventured north. After their transformation into Khazra, only a few elders were still able to use magic and they passed it down to their cleverest children. These are the Khazra Shaman, and they rank among the most dangerous of their race. That makes sense. Like the adversary is oh, we got a special already. Oh, we got a Jailer. Eh, I don't mind Jailers as much, as long as they continue to stand next to me and I continue to heal all the damn time. Could we find more like that? I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. So, I am going to avoid the auction house for this particular character because he is only going through normal. I kind of want to make it as single player as I can. Unfortunately, there is no such thing as single player as I can. But if you were going for an end game character, the auction house would be highly recommended by me. <laughs> um, I was actually talking to Buttercrust a little bit about it. Do you see how the... Oh no, you're going to have to really zoom in for this one and make it full screen. Do you see how when I swing, the the grass kind of moves with me? That's awesome. Uh, I was talking to him and he was pretty much saying how I was giving uh, a little bit of bad advice as I was going through. Uh, I was saying that the best stuff that I'm going to find is either on the ground or from Eamon. And that is not true, and he is right. The best stuff that you will find is in the auction house by a mile, not even close. You'll find other people that do you know, just farming runs, willing to sell some of their stuff for pretty damn cheap. Uh, especially when you get to nightmare level, uh, nightmare difficulty, right around 42. I believe is when it starts. You can start buying level 60 equipment as long as it has reduced level requirements and the reduced level requirements, the highest I've seen is 18. I'm not sure if that's exactly that, but you know, starting at level 42, you can then start looking... Ooh, cuts are altered. You can then start looking for what, in essence, is the best equipment in the game, except that one of the magics will be used for reducing uh, the level requirement you want to be careful of those. They will poison you. Well, not poison, but they'll they'll do damage to you by after they're dead. So that's what I did. I actually did purchase my first level 60. I did finally get up to level 42, uh, so that I was able to equip one of the things that I purchased. It is ridiculously powerful compared to what I had before. I'm mean, talking like four times the damage. <laughs> makes Nightmare a lot easier. Uh, so that would be my recommendation for you guys if you are going for, uh, you know, end game. But if you're just trying to go through it normally uh, without using the auction house, then the best place for you is at Eamon or what you find out here. Uh, 
in terms of what I sell on the auction house, I pretty much just sell um, yellow and up. I don't try to sell blue too often unless it's something ridiculously powerful or it's got something, you know, very high level. You start learning what's kind of average uh, for whatever level you find, and I'll sell those. And my strategy, honestly, is to either find really cheap buyouts or poach at the end of an auction. What that means is uh, I wait until the auction's almost over and nobody has bid on a lot of stuff, and that happens a lot, that nobody will bid on something. And if it's really cheap, then I put in a bid, and the game gives it to me for whatever minimum. Oh! I have this guy over here. And then when I sell stuff, I usually put a minimum of the default minimum, uh, which is usually just what it sells for in the game, which is not very much a lot of the time. Sorry, right, got him. Gonna need... Yes. Gonna need some help. Oh, shit. <laughs> and we're back up to full, and that's the beauty of... Revenge. You saw that he was beaten on the, the the drum there. The drum makes all his comrades more powerful. If there was not a treasure bandit, treasure whatever his name is in this iteration, they change it throughout the whole game based on what level he is. Uh, if there was not that, I would have definitely focused on that. Oh shit! I actually need to use a potion there. They almost got me. Moon Clan. These guys are tough. This is the part in the game where I did die the first time I went through it. Uh, but once again, I was a little bit under level because I had not uh, been fully exploring when I went through here before. So what was I talking about? Auction House. Yes. I'll just put a, a low buyout. Uh, what I would deem a low buyout for what I'm selling. Nightmare level equipment. I'm usually putting it like... Uh, well, I'm still in Act 1. At least I was, and I was selling those stuff for like five to ten thousand each, and then I would buy stuff easily for, you know, a couple hundred to maybe a thousand or so. So I was definitely making money on the auction house. <laughs> so if that strategy works out in the long run, who knows? I might try to do that with the actual real money auction house. And I don't know how I feel about that though. The regular auction house with the gold, I think I was fine with that. Ooh, Cape of the Moon Clan level 1. Tell me about yourself, Eric the Seer. Long I have labored to master the dark arts. Now I finally reap the rewards. For Magda has acknowledged me. She promised me a special task that will bring endless glory to the Great One. I can hardly rest until she reveals it on the morrow. Oh, uh, we do have some special guys here. They're Vortex, which just means they suck me in. Oh no. As a barbarian. That is the worst thing that you could do to me. It will cause me to get closer to you so I can hit you with my scythe and axe. Oh no. Uh, real money auction house, I'm still a little unsure about that because, honestly, I would never pay money for any endgame item. That's just the way I'm wired. Maybe it's it's an old school philosophy to not want to pay for stuff in game, like actual items. Um, you know, I'm all for more content with the, the downloadable content and all that kind of stuff. But you know, actual in game I'm glad use items. Face has brought us together on this path. Why is that? You fight with both honor and ferocity. I know that a pure soul must burn within. Oh, okay, sure. Oh, God, is it that commercial again? I hope you guys can't hear that commercial. I don't remember what game I was playing when I heard that commercial the first time, but that fucking commercial has got, like, 20 hawks in it. I don't understand why that is aired at all, let alone this late at night. And it's not that late, even. We're still pretty good, but it's still too late for them to be airing something that loud. You know what I mean? All right, so real money auction house. I don't buy anything there, but I'm not opposed to selling stuff. Like hell, if I get to level 60 and I can uh, put in, you know, maybe an hour's worth of work and then sell 10 things that I do when I'm max level, and I make, I I think somebody said $250 for an item once. Just $250 for an item. I don't know why you would buy that, but if I could sell it for that, you know, I'm all for that, I guess, you know, if I'm making money, but I, I would never spend that kind of money. I, you know, I, 
don't want to necessarily cheat my way through the game that much. Uh, I'm, I'm doing fine with just the regular gold in the auction house, but we'll see. I, I have not seen max level stuff in the real money auction house. And once we get that, I'll, I'll tell you about that some more. And I'm sure by the time I, I get there, Buttercrust will have some of his views on it too. But yes, the, the auction house, it's there. It is definitely worthwhile. You will find better stuff for your character in there than you'll find inside the game itself. I don't know how exactly I feel about that. To me, that's kind of kind of sad that you will find better stuff in the auction house than you will fall on me. Then you will find in the actual game. But then again, because of how the game is set up with randomness, that is very understandable. Oh, we got a wallet. That's not too bad at all. What do I even have on right click here? Seismic Slam? I'm not using it. I should use that more often. Uh, I have, I'm so used to my other build. We'll get there. We'll get there. Well, I'll get there to, to memor memorizing what I need to do here. Treasure Pygmy! No! Get back here! Ah! I found another satchel too! No, don't let him escape! He'll open up a portal and run through it! Oh crap. And that's one of the downsides of finding one of those treasure guys, is they will lead you to death sometimes. The ancient reference for not me though. Not me. Active skill category. So number three has opened up. I am not a fan of number three on my character. So this will be the time that I actually show off something that a lot of people still don't know about the game after we hear about this. Goatman, all of my labors were for a bunch of rotten, stinking goatmen. Magda claims that they will become our most valuable allies, and that the task is one that she can entrust to no one but me. But I know my place. I am most bruisingly humbled. Okay. So. Oh, I have a new skill here. A new leap skill. Iron impact increases my armor after landing. No, ground stomp. Every, no, every day I'm stomping. Uh... Level 3 is Tactics, so I can use Weapon Throw, which will hurl an axe at my enemy for 10 Fury. I can also do Threatening Shout, uh, which makes their attacks do less damage, not you do more, theirs do less. And increase my damage. Battle Rage is not bad. War Cry is pretty... and eh, I like Battle Rage better because of the build that I'm going for, but I do not like Weapon Throw at all. So. Oh, do I have to actually click on it? I do. Okay, what I'm going to do is show you how to change that in the game. So, you go Game Menu, Options, and you go to Gameplay. It is Gameplay, isn't it? There we go. Elective Mode. Enable full customization of skill selection and placement on the action bar. Should you pick this, then... Oh shit, I need to turn that on for my other character. Monster Power? <laughs> Especially now. Okay, now that I have that done, skills, I can... These these will show up. These were always here, but they'll show up, and then I can hit left, and then I can put the other stuff on there, should I want to. Uh, is there anything else that I really want there, though? I guess I could put Ancient Spear. That'll work. Um... Yeah, Ancient Spear. I don't usually like putting my right-click moves over there. So we'll put Ancient Spear in, in number three, even though it's another might and not a tactics. That's how that works. Did I get anything new here? No. No. And, by the way, Nerves of Steel, just awesome. I'm, I might be keeping that the whole time. That is awesome. Uh, but that's how you do that. It's kind of upsetting that You'll they put it in... Lord in the game menu like that because a lot of people apparently did not realize that you could do that and it was deemed one of the big early secrets of the game and really it's just it's just an option in the menu I figured it out because I explored all my options I'm like okay what can I do here and they just did add the monster level thing so I'm gonna go ahead and 
change that for my other character. This character will be doing everything default. That's just the way that this character works. Okay, we have finally reached the chest at the end. Oh, God. Revenge is so good. I love you, Revenge. And it's all worth it for this. Lesser. I'll take all that. How am I doing on space? Still pretty good. Still don't really feel the need to check because I'm doing pretty damn good all by myself. Um, ancient Spear, it actually generates fury for me. Nice. Oh shit, what am I doing? Let's go to this thing. And then we can get out and we can continue our search for the Kazura staff. Teleport back to the entrance. There we go. And we can finish exploring the Southern Highlands. Hopefully we can find something else that's good here. There's probably just the one dungeon, though. I do like the way that this is set up. Uh, the, the way that it's kind of a field. You kind of go through the field, and then there's a dungeon. And it's classic, and I, I like that. I, I don't typically like things that are spent entirely in the dungeon. I like you know, being outside and going into the dungeons. That's just my preference. There are definitely games that break that stereotype that I do enjoy. Uh, I'm thinking of one very stylistic one in, on the PlayStation in particular that I sucked at, but I will, I will try to go back to eventually, even though nobody has heard of it or remembers it very, very much anymore. Okay, you can die. I think I have uh, aggroed the causer up top. Ah, get out of there, you can see it's doing... Oh, shit. Um, yeah, destroy the totems. I think it's... God, I love that sound. I think it's just a destroyable object that you have a chance of finding something in. No, get... Stop. Oh, it... That's right. <laughs> I'm overthinking my stomp. I need to use that just to stun enemies. Once again, I'm used to a different build. Where, you know, my stomp does something. Oh! We need to go down there? It was down there the whole time? Weapons! Nothing good. Hopefully I can get those... Oh! Can I mention again how much I love how the grass actually like moves around when I swing. That's how much force I'm causing. Yeah! You can kind of see it there when I destroyed that object. Not not the villager, though. I don't see it there. It definitely implies that I am. I don't know. They're, they're definitely implying that I'm not just a standard human, am I? You can take care of him. You got him, Templar! Oh, you're going to take care of him. There you go. That's how you do it, Templar. You'd think he would have learned by now. You would think. He didn't. And there, we have found... Worthy foe. Oh shit, we have found a savage beast. If I remember right, this savage beast is always here. Probably run the murder. We have done it. Maybe it's not always him, but it's always a beast like that. Oh, jeez. I thought that was going to be a little shortcut, and I was going to check it out. Alright, let's look at the wagon. Get the staff. Give me some money. Experience and go. Oh shit! We got Nalban the Foul! Uh, what's this? Ah! God, I'm not a big fan of that earthquake. Might switch back to the hammer. Simply because I can single focus that. I mean, that one I kind of have to aim it in the direction. I have to think about that one. Okay, nothing here. Back to the Southern Highlands. Looks like there could be something here in the middle, though. Definitely has the outline of the house or, or, or something like that down there. There is something here. Oh, I see them. So let's head up in here. We'll finish exploring down once we are done. Here. Take out all the goat men. Destroy that. Yeah, you need to know. How did the tree get in the middle here? Bring in impalers. I probably need to go back to town pretty soon. I have a ton of magic fun, apparently. Because again, I've been playing with my, my other character for a while, so it's taking me a little while to get used to this character again. Uh, 
does not have the same gold pickup. All right, into the Lyceum. Ooh, an event. Explore the Lyceum. I don't remember this one. God. <laughs> ah, so used to something. I, I'm, I, I've justified that enough. Yeah, don't don't you worry about it. I will I will destroy this. I think Lyceum is a school. It's either a school or a library. My French was a little hazy. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a school, like, like a high school. <laughs> there we go. Yes, destroy all that. Don't forget which button you use to destroy those. And attack speed bonus, that is a very nice bonus to have. It, it feels like it's so much faster than 25% than when you get it. And once again, there's all that down there that we can't do anything with. I do like that they added that detail instead of just, a, you know, it going off to nothing. Wallers, your wallers do not scare me. Oh no, I can't run away. Wait, I didn't want to. And dis disrupt the ritual. So we're going to find more cultists in here. As if you didn't already guess that by all the cultists that we had found. Dark Hellions! Once again, not not the same effect. Not ready for battle. Here, Hellions. And a lesser. Very nice. And nothing. Well, barrels. Now, I did mention before that barrels uh, will only have gold in them. From what I can see, that's just on... Yeah, concentrate, because I killed you. Oh shit, they actually summoned something. Dark Berserker, you gotta be careful with those guys. The Dark Berserkers are considered weaker demons, but their strength is still far greater than that of any human. I have found dark spells within the cathedral, written in Archbishop Lazarus's own hand, explaining how to summon them. I pray that no other copies exist, so that this terrible knowledge will be lost forever. No. No, somebody figured it out. 